Hello guys, it's Cody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make custom ringtones on your iPhone or iPad without a computer. So I'll be showing you a, on my iPad, so it's the same on your iPhone. You only need to download this GarageBand app. It's free and from Apple. So I, I already installed it. I'm just uh, open it. You can select any of your downloaded track on your iPhone as a ringtone. So if you haven't downloaded any songs on your iPhone, so you can use uh, you can use my Shazam to MP3 shortcut. You can uh, download any song that you're listening to uh, on your iPhone. You can also use my other music downloader shortcuts. So I'm just uh, tap continue. Uh, I don't allow. So I'm just uh, select this audio recorder. Step on it. So I'm gonna tap this uh, icon here. Yeah, th this one you see, and this one icon here. Then I'm going to tap this plus icon here. Uh, manual and to 30. Okay. Now I'm going to tap this icon here from right top. You see the files. So I've downloaded some songs into the files app. So, so I'm going to browse items from the files app uh, on my iPad the download folder so I'm gonna select this song you broke me first okay it's here I'm gonna drag it to the garage band here and you can play it have this icon of course you can also add a slicer to cut it split and delete this part delete this part like tap this I come from the top left. You see here. And uh, press and hold this uh, my song and tap share. Select ringtone. Uh, continue. You can give it a name. What's the. Broke. And uh, tap export. Use select use sound as okay. Standard rental, standard rental, select standard rental. Okay, let me go back to settings. Go to settings. Sounds rental, you see here. Maybe you don't like to this is the song. Okay, that's how it works. You only need to do uh, this uh, GarageBand app. If you haven't downloaded any music, you can use the Shortcuts app. I have the Shazam to MP3 shortcut. And you can watch the video to get this shortcut. And then you can download any songs that you're listening to. Of course, you can use other options to edit the edit the, the ringtone okay that's pretty much it for this video hope you find it helpful as always thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one